the example she held out for all of us shows that that possibility exists for all of us. And exactly, that's exactly. The message she's leaving us with, yeah. Well, and you know, it's it's still such an important and timely message because, you know, I went I went um, through the drug addiction in the '80s and before I had my first child and. It mm-hmm. was one of those things where, you know, I woke up one day and I said, okay, cold turkey, man, I'm not doing this anymore. This is crap. And that was it. And so mm-hmm. I stopped. But I understand how going into a shower and washing my hair could trigger the smell of cocaine and would start getting me to Jones. So I understand mm-hmm. that cycle of, you know, going through that that piece of really looking at who you are and, and okay, giving yourself a little bit of compassion as you're working through this piece that's not so pretty. You know, it's not a pretty piece to right. look at. But, you know, but she owned it and she was so honest and she was so truthful and so, tr- you know, what I love about Debbie and always loved about Debbie is her transparency. And if there's one thing I would always like to be myself is transparent is because you know there's there's nothing that i think teaches or guides or instills more than somebody who has been through the gutter the 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 ditch and and rise up and you know she's she's bringing us this book this um incredible prayer book that like you said you were you know you're you're a third or a fourth of the way through drenched in holiness and you're ready to lose it i felt the same thing i got i got choked up like <laughs> like okay yeah i i'm feeling this deb i'm feeling how much i need to be saying this deb you know? right. It's, right. Uh, and, it's, and you know got power you here word, correct and you say the word transparent but i would say integrity the fact that yes. she really yes. got clear about what integrity is and what that means mm-hmm. to you and how you have to be constant and consistent in how you react to the world and yes. the choices you make even when you're fearful you know let the the, the right. you know what is it what is that that we say um uh, may i see the may i seek to know the highest truth and dismiss the gravitational pull of my lower self. You know, when you yes. are in integrity, yes. you yes. rise above that. That no longer even becomes a choice to That's to right. drop down and, and look at what's beneath you as opposed to focusing and looking at what's above you. You know, for me, Lisa, having been a disc jockey, and that was my first love in life as far as a career and my choice to be to lead a creative life and an artist life right. was my my connection to radio and wanting to communicate and that all of that centered around a love of music and not being musical but knowing how to share music with the world and being a DJ for 20 years um I find Wait. it so interesting when you talk about and I think you and Ariel were talking about that truly life is like a frequency it's it's a matter of which frequency you're tuning into as to what you will bring into your your existence. So when you're constantly tuning up the dial and raising your yeah. vibration little by little, you truly and you, and you're really um, aware. You will see the the good things that are coming into your life. The the higher you tune that dial. And when you get lost in that lower self and the pull, you're going to then bring people into your life that need and steal your light and are not Mm -hmm. supporting you and where you need to go. And the more you can tune that dial to the higher radio station, that's the energy that you're going to bring about. And Uh, that's a visual and and something that that I I always lock into. Yeah. I love it. That's a great, great analogy. That's great for me because I, I, I do that. I use visuals for myself as little, little motivational mm-hmm. visuals. <laughs> but this is and, – and 
and that's the piece of where, you know, in, in today's world when there's so much uh, struggle and, and drug addiction that we can have yeah. somebody who came out of it, you know, on the other side who wrote a book that is um, empowering through the prayers, through the words. And as you read the words, you'll feel her power. You'll feel the prayer. It's almost like she she called in um, the higher power and, and said, okay, these words – you know, it's like it's like a, a biblical text. It's like these words you will feel in your soul, and when you say them, you will feel them in your soul. This is this is yeah. just, um, I, you know, I, I said to Ariel, I said these are the kind of books that I love to have as like a um, a bedside Bible that you can just open up if you've got something. Because Ariel said you can use it many different ways. You can read it from front to back, or you can have a question or a, a concern and pose it and then open the book up at random and read the passage. Yes. And, that, and I love those. You know, those those yeah, always bring yeah. me the most inspiration. You know? <laughs> I agree. Well, and there is a, a happy – I'm sorry. Go ahead, Randy. No, I was going to say, and there is almost a prayer every page, you know. There are snippets right. of prayers and full prayers throughout this book. So – you know, if one doesn't resonate with you, keep reading because the next one might be like, oh, yeah, that's the sweet spot. That's the one I really need right. to look at, you know. That's right. <laughs> that's <laughs> so true. That is so true. And and there's this, there's this essence of Debbie that lives on in not only her work and her books, um, but in the people who love Debbie and talk about her, like you and Ariel and all her friends and loved ones. And there's an essence that people are tapping in. And, and Ariel has talked about this, that people get visited by Debbie or tap into Debbie or dream about Debbie. She's even come into some of my dreams, which has been very interesting. And one time she came, mm. came to my dream with Wayne Dyer, which was really, really funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Um, but it, it's I feel so like I, I've been a yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. When you talked about Wayne, you know, I had known Wayne. Wayne and I actually dated like a million years ago, right when no he had written way. after after erogenous zones. Yes. No so it was early way. on. Yeah. Crazy, and it was before Debbie and I were super tight. It was during uh, when Ariel and I were friends, and you know, it's just so crazy when you are are drawn to the work that Debbie did, that that Wayne did, the work that you're doing. This, yes. And and even though I've never felt like I've been visited by Debbie, I don't feel those connections that. Uh, people say, oh, Debbie came to me in a dream or Debbie spoke to me. I don't hear that. I, I don't know why, but it, I don't have that experience. The the closest okay. I came was read, in the reading of this book. Read. That's what I was going to say. Read Drenched in Holiness out loud to yourself in your sound room and allow yourself to cry because mm. I guarantee you she's going to be there with you and you'll both have a healing se session here because I, I feel like she's right there tapping you on the shoulder, but there's, I know, there's but so why much pain in the grief because yeah. you're still grieving. There's a part of grief that mm. you haven't tapped into yet. There's a part of the pain that is so painful, it's, it's, you have to give yourself permission to feel it. And yeah, yeah. and that's the hardest part, you know, when we love somebody and they're they're not in front of our face that we can touch them, but their mm -hmm. energy never dies because love doesn't die, you know. That's the frequency that lives on and mm. on and on and on, and you can't destroy it. So wherever right. there was love created, that love exists and that bond exists, and so your connection mm. to her exists. So. You That's just beautiful. need some private time to call her in. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. I'm here. If you... yeah, Lisa, uh, thank you. Well, been... you've been there for me ever since we Bye. met, so you are incredible.
Did I lose you? All right. Sorry. It's isn't that funny? Maybe Debbie's messing with us. <laughs> oh, I, I, she's definitely around. <laughs> she's definitely yeah, around. She just sort of took my phone and said, "No, no, no. Let me let me mess with this phone a little and <laughs> and shake it up, saying, "Yeah, no, I'm here. Trust me, I'm here. I love that." <laughs> She is definitely here. I feel like this is going to be a very um a good a good launching book for everybody to to really grasp and really receive. I'm going to get the audio version cuz I love your voice and I love to uh listen to audio on when I drive and I love to drive. So oh, I think that's thank you. the best of both worlds. Yes, I'm going to get the audio oh, I version. I love that on it. <laughs> Thank you. And I believe and, that, that Debbie and the Ford group, they're all, they put together a package that includes the book, a special video, the audio book. And, and so I don't know what address yes, Ariel and a, gave and a you drawing, to go get that. Yes, and a drawing for um, a free reading with James Von Prague, James. the master of mediumship. So, yes, this is like, that's like, and he doesn't do private readings anymore. He only does like auditorium size rooms and you might get you know what three right. to five people might get picked you know but that's i think that's wonderful i that is uh you go to www.arielford.com everybody on that one okay and so spell that a a r i e l l e f o r d just arielford.com just put that into your browser that's all you need to do ariel um the web Actually, DebbieFord.com, www.debbieFord.com. Sorry there. We're in this from all bases. Well, I just, anything you would like to share. Hey, you have a podcast. Talk about that. Let's talk about the name of your Thank podcast you. and where, where the audience <laughs> can find you. My goodness. Uh, every week, yes, my husband and I. Maybe Debbie was behind this because six months ago, my husband and I started a podcast called the Music Connection Podcast based on Music Connection Magazine. And uh, we're distributed on iTunes and Podcast One. Uh, We are doing a weekly show where we interview artists about music and their music. And we have these young, incredible artists that are dominating the charts today and are the up-and-coming YouTube stars that, that have, you know, millions of fans, and yet they don't even have a regular record deal, but their fans seem Ugh. to find them. We're talking to these kids, and uh, I'm having a blast with this podcast. It's, it's um, I guess, I bet. it reconnects me to my radio background. You know, I figured out right, you right. have the right idea. Your podcast launches live every week. I can just tune in and hear you live. Mine is about recording, editing, putting music in. It's a whole production. And then we have to upload it, and it drops every Wednesday. I'm thinking, you've got this figured out. You just go well, live, and then, then you're done, and then it gets archived. It, it's only because I'm so tech-challenged, Randy. It's because it's the easiest way for me to do this. <laughs> It's like I'm I'm an, I'm well, a one man one woman band here, you know. So, there you go. Like, the important thing is you is are like doing it. So incredible. I thank you. Well, thank you. But I am so I love I love the show. And you've had um Tora Stinson on from the O Mags, one of my buddies that I just met through O Magazine here. But please we've got like ninety seconds, so please tell the audience where they can find you, what the name of it is and, and how they can connect in. Okay. So my personal website is randythomasvo.com. So that's R-A-N-D-Y-T-H-O-M-A-S-V-O for voiceover.com. And what you can do is just scroll down to the podcast button, and that will take you right into our podcast. You'll see we have 25 episodes now of incredible interviews. They run anywhere from 25 minutes to over an hour. And... We're so excited that we keep turning out this show every week. I'm really proud of the work we're doing. And um, I appreciate anyone that wants to tune in or 
If you do and you like what you hear on the Music Connection podcast, please download it and rate and review it, as I hope you will for Lisa, because this is how other people can find our podcast, by rating and reviewing. (laughs) It puts it out there into the ethers, and we both appreciate that very much. Amen. Thank you for that, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Randy, thank you so much for being my guest on Unlimited Realities. Everyone, please go and buy your 